you can see that what they did is they came in and they would hide behind this desk and they ripped open the cabinets just Josie to, like, Lee, take owner of La Boutique Salon on Polk Street, they... said she's been burglarized four times in the past year. She estimates the losses and repairs to be upwards of $40,000. Each time they've taken electronics, cash, and beauty products. Her mailbox has also been repeatedly pried open. It's been shocking and also not only traumatic, but also just like surprising, you know, in one of the greatest or expensive cities, we would think that it would be able to like sustain the business. Most recently in January, the beauty salon's cell phone was stolen. Tracking technology showed that it was about a half mile away near Van Ness and Geary. When the police arrived, it was already like a couple hours before the, uh, after I've like found the incident. And then they, uh, by then, the phone was already like turned off. Like many small business owners in San Francisco, Josie is struggling to get people to come through the doors. I replaced the whole window and had to buy like new logoing and decals. She opened this space a year ago after shutting down her business for much of the pandemic. SFPD crime data shows that burglaries this year in the Northern District, which includes Polk Gulch, are up more than 30 percent compared to the same time period last year. But this is almost like a national joke at this point for our city. And it's like we are trying to bring it up. We're making this place as lively as possible. We as business owners are trying now have to feel like we have to be out here fending for ourselves. This month, Mayor London Breed introduced Introduced a $27 million budget supplemental to ensure continued police presence and expand hiring community ambassadors in business areas. SFPD has a staffing shortage of 541 officers. When I see them, they're very sympathetic and then they are like, um, they do try to help. But I do think that we have defamed the police so much that we now don't have enough police. Okay, so Betty, when it comes to her insurance, so she's worried about making so many claims that she gets dropped. And have you heard of that happening before? Well, she said she personally.